and what I would buy personally as a real estate broker, an investor, and a entrepreneur, basically, here in Houston, Texas, and the surrounding areas. So let's get started. Hi, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. If you haven't tuned in before, thanks for checking out my channel. My name is Cheryl Castillo-Pope, and today I am actually going to talk to you about what I would buy with $1 million here in Houston, Texas and the surrounding areas. So stay tuned, let's get started. And I am about to show you some properties that will pretty much blow your mind. Get on my desktop and go through these properties with you. So whenever I am doing like really, really thorough research, I make sure that I uh, am as comfortable as possible so I can look at all the items. So. Um, here I'm sharing my desktop with you and what I did right now is a price a criteria and I'm going to go 900 to 20 I'm gonna go 900,000 to 2 million 100,000 okay so the first area that I am going to go to is the like the Piney Point area in Houston Okay, so let's see here. Pine Point Village, and here's Memorial Drive, and where is I 10? So I 10 is right there, and you're going to have the mall, which is right here Memorial City Mall, and then you got the Memorial City Hospital right there. Actually, there's a house right here, right by the mall, in that little area. Oh, I like that. I actually saw this house a while ago. And it is now, oh, it's still 1.575. 1.6 mil. Can't remember what it was. Oh, it was outside of the home. It looked like a castle. I thought that was pretty cool. But I just didn't like this little area right here with the wood. It just seemed like it was supposed to go all the way up to the wall. To make it feel more um make it feel more extravagant basically and i didn't like the restroom i didn't like the restroom on this one with the uh the tub enclosed but that's those are quick easy fixes so i mean it's not bad oh the restroom i didn't like this restroom right here this mirror i felt like it if I was washing my hands, I couldn't actually be able to see myself in the mirror because it seemed so high up. Uh, I would actually flip the mirror. And the one thing I did notice was the pool. The pool was pretty cool. But for 1.5, 1.6 mil, I really would rather be a little bit closer to the 1 million price range. So let's see what we can find for that. Because this video is... 1 million um oh it was this one too let's see what this one was no that's 2.1 okay so a really around this little area um you're going to be looking at more of a fixer upper if it's in the ones but there was one little house that i thought was really cool it was on Blaylock. yeah 1.3 this house right here i thought was really cool because it's actually doable. I mean, you're going to have people that's in more of Mac Man mini Mac mansions um, in this area. But this home is so quaint and so nice. Um, I mean, almost 3,000 square feet. But it's also a four bedroom, three baths. So you have enough bathrooms if people come over. And let me show you real quick. So I want to show you these pictures. And me, I'm an outside person. I like outdoors. And... It is really at the skirts of Piney Point. It's really Piney Point. I mean, I would actually do this outside brick. I would go white. And then, I don't know if that's fiber cement, but I would make sure that that's fiber cement right here. And I would do like a black and white theme on the outside. And I would take the shutters right here off and I would put like wood shutters, um, stained wood, like a pecan color. And then this little beam right here, I would actually 
make it like a six by six um, wood beam and i'll put the address to the property right there that would be so cute and then i would actually take this little um stepping area up and i would put like um concrete pads in between rocks like black rocks and put a nice uh the flower bed is actually cute but i would put like a nice little vase of the house right there that would be really cute and then i'll put a nice little um entry light right there and then from right here i would put like a little light shining up on the address and those are just really cheap upgrades to do to make it look really cute um now the home is actually sitting on uh 25,000 square feet so that looks i mean that's a lot of a lot of room and you can enjoy it the area is quiet so i mean you're not gonna have a lot of noise um it have a garage everything is is nice and then like right here i like how they did the aerial aerial shot because that's what i felt like was a great thing that lap pool i was like if that belongs to the property that's definitely will make it dual because i'm an outside person and i, I actually love that that they put that in the picture i almost felt like that should have been like the second picture um but a lot of people buy in this area to tear down and to build like mac mansions over in this area um but yeah this is a great view right here i, I thought that was really cool um now the inside i would not keep the parquet floors and then the entry stone i would actually go in with a real wood or a like a tile wood like look it's like a ceramic tile um i would definitely go in like with some grays or with something that looks really nice for a floor i would not do carpet um i just i have pets i don't like carpet i love the windows the wall of windows i think that's really cool um and I mean some floor to ceiling um some floor to ceiling windows are really nice. The lighting in here is really good. I, I thought that was really nice. I almost feel like the baseboards, I would go in and make sure that those baseboards are about about six inches thick. That would give a really nice feel to it. And then that fireplace, you could like really do something really really creative with that fireplace to make it uh stick out a little bit more it, uh, resurface it with another type of stone and maybe even go up a little bit higher or even put in some shelving on the side of the wall that would make it look a little bit more um, prestige of an area like if you want to put books and stuff i like how they did the um the sofa and everything but i would you still would like to look out the window so i almost feel like the the area should be kind of flipped a little bit but yeah, it's a cool little area, a lot of natural lighting. Um, and see those lights, they're really, really small. I would really like some really bigger uh, six inch LED lights. It would be really nice to have right there. I would definitely go in with a different type of countertop. I would do like a quartz, a quartz countertop. And that would make it just pop out. The window with the sink is great. I mean, those windows actually look upgraded. So, I mean, you don't even have to do new windows. And maybe the floors, the countertops. I haven't seen the, the master on this one. But, yeah, floors and countertops. And this is like another little area. Is this another little area? Kind of like a, um, that's a really nice little area, too. Ugh, I don't like the carpet. Definitely get rid of the carpet. I see they put rugs over it in the staging to get rid of the carpet look but uh yeah i would definitely get rid of the carpet it would it would make a sweet home um the closets you could actually put it in some really good built-ins i'm not really sure from this view like how the closet actually look kind of wish it was maybe another shot showing from the other angle or just a wide angle camera um to be able to show the closet there go those little bitty lights again but it's okay for the closet because it's not bad. It actually is enough lighting. Ooh, is that a Toto toilet or a Kohler? It looks like a t uh, a, t a Kohler. Um, hey, you know what? Now, looking at this listing, if I was to put a listing, because I went right to the pictures immediately, I would have put in there what type of, um, in the picture description, I would put in what type of, um, like toilet and sink it was i know it's probably in the listing but uh 
this bathroom is really busy too <laughs> but uh it's actually cute it's doable is this the washroom area this is really cool so you got like a little folding area you got like a little mud sink um the water heater is right by the stack of a washer and dryer not bad and i see the back door is right there so that's that's really cool so you don't have to actually track in especially right now with us in the the virus time i mean this is actually really good because if you work as a medical profession or just even out in the, the open air and you want to come home and not contaminate your house you can actually throw everything in the washer and dryer right there so i mean that's really convenient uh what is that is that like a little mini fridge Mm, not bad have a long day you put your your wine right there uh let's see here oh another carpet room what room is this oh they got roomy master bed oh we got to use primary rooms primary bedroom now instead of master bedroom but uh i still do that too i still be like oh master bedroom okay so this is like some little lighting and i bet they're gonna have like a headboard um that's where your your bed go the windows are really nice. The windows are really nice. I love how they have all the natural lighting going in. Get those little lights again. What are those, like, 3-inch or 2-inch um, lights? I love the um, the staging pictures. But if you do, like, a cowhide rug, I feel like you almost should have, like, the cowhide chairs. Um, that's true letter, and you can tell. Um, it just takes away from the bed actually but it's actually really nice and cozy looking okay there were one of those closets again so this is like kind of like built-in closet really nice um, master bathroom where's the tub I gotta have a tub though so but I mean it's an easy fix if it's not a tub in there then you could definitely put a tub but that shower look enormous you could actually put like a wood bench in the shower so you don't really have to have like a sitting area in the shower but you could put one of those uh, removable wood benches i think that would be really cool and oh is that one of those little sprayer things to clean out? oh yeah that's a little sprayer thing to clean out the shower and then i love the the area that's like a little niche that you could put like your shampoos and stuff in that's like a must-have in any home that i'm in and they got one of those cool toilets again so that's really nice I don't like the drop down lighting um, right there with the mirror area. Yeah, this is actually a doable house. Pretty doable. Um, like I say, nice backyard. A deck always brings in um, great entertainment to a home, especially even if you don't entertain. I mean, it's just nice to actually have to enjoy on the outside of your house. A lot of mature trees um and a great spacious land oh so that got a pool the pool is actually really nice and got like a little sitting area i would have put a fire pit right there that would have been nice to have like a little fire pit area instead of tables and chairs you got a little swing back there that got a pool the pool is actually i love how far the pool is away from the house like that because it's not so close to the house and you don't just feel like you're leaving out your back door and falling into the pool so, I mean, that's a really nice pool. You could actually even fence it if you wanted to, if you had like a little kid or anything. But I mean, it's really nice. You could even concrete around it and put like little chairs. I mean, this is really doable. It's a good size pool too. Really nice. Oh, did it say something with, with the pool right there? Let's see. Pool also has a catch a kid fencing. Oh, so the pool actually got a fencing that's stored in the garage. See there? They're already thinking pretty. Really nice. And I love the aerial shot of the pool. You can see your neighbor got a pool too. <laughs> and the street. Again, whenever you go through the area, the streets are really nice. And it's a really nice little area. Um, it's zoned to Spring Branch Schools. And it also have like um, Memorial High School as part of Spring Branch. And I believe, I want to say that's to Memorial Elementary, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll have to double check. You know, you always got to verify your schools here, too, when you're moving here. But this is actually a really doable home for the price. And been on the market for 83 days. And it had a price reduction. Yeah, I don't really, I really see this as a doable home. So let's go back to the map and let's see. So that was 1.3. And that actually is what get you pretty much close to the Piney Point little area. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. There is 
nothing right there. Just people not listening or not really anything right there. Hmm. Okay. So let's go over here. I already showed you kind of like Memorial Mall area. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, so the next area I'm going to kind of go to is like the Spring Valley area. They have their own jurisdiction. They got their own courthouse. Um, I would rather live like closer in Piney Point than the Spring Valley area. Piney Point just got a lot of good land. Uh, you get a lot, a lot of land with your house and it's really nice. Spring Valley is just across the freeway and it is a great little area as well. And let's see here. Let me see what else I can show you. For one million, let's see what we could find. Oh, I saw that house before. Okay, maybe I should go like by the uh, Edwards Marquee. So this little area, you got like a movie theater, shopping center. Um, it's like an outdoor entertainment area. You got a movie. Th it got movie theater there. You got your. Um, eating entertainment you have a walmart over there and and a lot of other little things um such as entertainment outdoor it was really a great little spot when they first built it and it had like a different busters so i mean it's like a kind of like you could go there for a date night or or movie to have as entertainment um and then on antoine right there is where the i believe that's where ikea is at if i'm not mistaken so right here in this little area, they're actually, um, the last few years, a lot of the older homes been knocked down and um, newer homes been built. They're like little mini Mac mansions as well. And usually you could get into a new build for about one, one mil, 1.1, 1 .1, somewhere up in there. Uh, this is a three story actually, a little three story patio home, I guess. I, if I do a patio home, I don't want to be in the city unless it's just like I work in the area and I got to actually stay there. But if I'm going to have a patio home, it got to have a rooftop and I actually got to be able to have a view because in Texas here, we're like so flat. I, that just wouldn't be one of my picks unless I just want that nice nightlife entertainment feel to my home, but I just won't be able to see anything. I mean, unless you could actually see something from your home, I think that's pretty cool. But if I'm going to have a three-story, um, I definitely want to be able to have a rooftop and have the enjoyments of it. So let's see here. Um, so that must be a whole little community right there. This is actually really nice. This is nine hundred and ninety-five thousand. You got six bedrooms, three point one bath, fifty-one hundred square foot. Let's see here. What we got? Seventy-eight hundred square foot lot, and the home is actually five thousand square feet. Hmm. So you're not really gonna have that much yard space. This is nice. Is it two entry doors? Okay. Let's go. Ooh, is that stucco? I'm just always like, with Houston, with stucco, I'm just like always like, oh, is it going to change? How is the stucco going to look? Um, oh, is that wine cellar? Yeah, that was cool. I just always, any of my buyers that buy properties and have stucco, I always have them get a stucco inspection when they're getting their home inspection. Yeah. I just don't like carpet and and stuff but for the price I mean it's doable you can actually do some stuff to the home and still have a little bit of wiggle room to be able to put stuff there so let's go here let's see here is this work road edgeway Ooh, that looks actually nice little circle
Okay, so then I'm gonna go a little bit right here. You can still on Silver Street. And it's, again, real easy access to the freeway. So let's see, 6618 Sackett. Is this a new build? Oh yeah, it, it, it looks like a new build. Yep, new construction home. And it's uh, elevated custom homes. Ooh, I like it, like it. Ooh, wait a minute, is it already finished or is that renderings? I like renderings. I like the concept. The garage is gonna have natural lighting. Ooh, the cabinets are sexy, right? I always say a sexy kitchen and a sexy bathroom is what sells a home. Love the shelf idea. Remember that other home that I was just telling you about? It was really cute. If you were to do the, redo the fireplace, I said, and put the shelving. I think that was the first one I showed you in Piney Point with the lap pool. So that's really nice. And look at those windows. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And the floors are what? Now that parquet. <laughs> the, it have a bathtub. Oh, wow. This is nice. This is really nice. I would actually like to see this. Hope I get to show it when it's um when it's finished. Have a buyer to show it to. Really nice. I like that. That's really nice. Now, is it one right there that's finished? Ooh, sixty six twenty one second. Nine hundred and eighty nine thousand four bedroom three bath, and we're looking at four thousand square feet. Um on an 8,000 square feet lot. So you got about 4,000 square feet of yard space. Uh, got a little green space. Brand new construction, like the sound of that. Now remember I was telling you that like the Piney Point area, you got more land, um, but you're still in a nice little area. Like this, like the awning. Love the black and white concept like the entry doors oh and the little concrete pads remember i was telling you about the concrete pads on the entryway this is really cute and look at the little lights the little light fixtures where's the mailbox though oh it's like the house next door is a older home you see a lot of that now you see a lot of that like in the oak forest area oh look and the windows right there you can see that they're building across the street i'm always looking at stuff like that Oh, and did you see the porch? The porch had the like tongue and groove wood with a recessed light. That's really nice. The stairwell is nice. I love how it don't curve to the door. It actually curve away from the door. That's really nice. Love the little office area over there, or even if it's a, maybe it's a, um, where you're gonna put your table, like a dining room. But that's really nice. I like that. Because you could always put doors up there if you want to, too. Or even glass, a glass door. The floors are nice. I actually got that counter, um, kind of like a countertop like that in my, my house now. <laughs> Man, that toilet looked really long, right? <laughs> The windows in the um, living area look really nice. I love the shelving around the fireplace. Really nice. Really spacious uh, ceilings, which give a great height. The open concept is really nice. That's a good picture right there, actually, too. Great picture. The gray subway tile look in the kitchen is really nice. I like the cabinets. Love that they choose uh glass cabinets at the top and make it look more open but also it give more cabinet depth um really nice i like the little lights that's hanging these little what pendant lights is that what they call and then it shows that it could fit four bar stools there that's really nice as well and i love the build outs right there to the right that's really nice really really nice i have those same kitchen countertops right now crazy but I didn't go with that color uh, backsplash. Really, really nice. A uh, five, uh, five burner gas stove. Gas is like, you gotta have gas these days too. Gas is a must have. Nice, nice. I actually got those handles too on my cabinets. <laughs> okay, oh, the master bedroom. 
a primary bedroom. See, told you I still do it. I wish it was more of a wide angle shot so I could see more of the master. That would have been really good to be able to see. The restroom is nice. I wish the lights was on though in the picture. That would have really helped. But it, you're able to see that you get two sinks in there. Two sink areas. The tub is nice. I love how they went all the way up with the, the backsplash. Because that's just like a, a great perk to have when you're actually having a home. The shower is a good size. You can actually see from here that it's a good size. Oh, we have a little seat in there. It also has a little niche for the, the soaps and shampoos. And I love that it has a little, because this actually come in handy, that little handle sprayer, especially when you're cleaning out the shower area and you're making sure you get everything to spray down. That's a really good thing. The closets are really nice and bright, really spacious. And then that one light actually makes it really bright in there. That's really good. Oh, that's a good view too, to show the living area. Really nice. Okay, so I guess you got like a little theater room as well. Really nice. Oh, is that a game area? That's really nice as well. All you need at this location is a little bitty spool pool in your backyard. Even a jacuzzi would be nice. I like how they have the porch too that goes out like that. That justifies everything in this little home. I would say justifies the price. Uh, glad to see a price reduction on it. $989,000. Um, I wonder when they did that. Okay. So that's actually a cute little home as well. Uh, let's go to another area. So the next area that I am going to choose would be closer into the city. I actually like being closer into the city because just around more entertainment. Um, I'm not necessarily needing the schools because I don't have a little one that's in school. So I actually want to be around some nightlife and be able to Uber places and me and my husband, we like the um, biking trails and stuff, which I mean, the biking trails go out to the suburbs as well, but um, just like the inner, inner loop right now. So let's go into like the Woodland Heights area. This area I like because it, it's like the only little area that's actually in Houston, the inner loop. That have like hills and it's it's a really nice location. Let me see. So let's see here. So we got the Greater Heights. You have like um, Lazy Brook area. So you got 610. You have uh, I-10. I'm gonna show you Lawrence Military next. Right now I'm gonna start off like in the Heights area and the Woodland Heights. I actually don't I like being in the city but I don't want to be like really close to my neighbor um, so I really would like a little yard space this one right here is 1.4 I actually drove by this a few times 22 days on the market let's see no details overlooked take me to the master bathroom okay <laughs> they put a little doll house under the stairs a playroom under the stairs that's cute you always see that kind of stuff on pinterest 
now that's a winner okay so this right here is like a spot that i would enjoy the outdoor fireplace pit i mean you could enjoy this year round especially in houston because we only get like really really cold days every like maybe like between the end of january or the beginning of january through february and then it start warming up again and our cold days is like the lowest we really usually get is about 30 degrees 40 degrees about 40 degrees and then it warms up the next day mm, that pool is nice nice okay it's a salt water pool that's nice okay good size good size home great double islands i think that's really good especially to justify the price and that you see the commercial grade oven stove that is nice and the fridge those are two nice things i wonder how big this lot is so the home is four thousand nine hundred square feet built in 2012 and the lot is eighty nine hundred square feet so about 3,000 square feet of yard space. No detail to overlook. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go back to the Heights area. That was just one I just came across to. Um, ooh, 23rd Street. Five bedroom. And it like it's a... Now, this is nice. I wonder... Um, you got 14,000 square feet lot with a 5,000 square foot home. Wow, I never even seen this home, I don't think. You can see the townhomes, they're all close by each other. I wonder how I look in person. I wonder if you like right next to the townhome. Three car garage. Wow. Upgraded stucco. Nice. Oh, the entry is really nice. That's really nice. How much was the home again? Am I over budget? Hold on. The oh the pool is really nice. That's really nice. I love how they did the pictures. nice okay that ceiling in the dining room do you see all those those waves it's like a, a sympathy ceiling nice little room that would be like a little office i would say nice and that's the powder room that looks really nice oh did they say with double crown molding mm. This almost reminds me of like uh, if you go to Colorado and you're like at one of the ski resorts and how it would just feel all cozy and like you're going to go skiing later. <laughs> That's how this uh, feels just looking at the pictures. Um, I would have personally took down all those pictures up at the top up there. But I guess it gives like a theme. The kitchen area is nice. It actually fits the kind of style that the home is going for. Um, really nice. This is cute. Okay, let's keep going. Is that the master? I'm at the primary bedroom. Okay. And you can see that it fit a good size bed in there. I don't like those chairs. Yeah. Those chairs look older, like 1990s. Okay, there go your tub. I love the freestanding tubs. Maybe that's a spa tub. But it's a good size bathroom. Good size bathroom. Good size shower. What was that up there? A TV? TV in the bathroom. Nice. Oh, I like that angle of the of the bedroom. That actually gave a another look into the bedroom. Really clean. And you know what? This house have carpet. And I didn't even notice away from there. I guess just because of the theme. It just felt like I say it felt like a, a ski resort. <laughs> okay, so this must be a safe space for guests. So this is actually handicap accessible, it looks like. Nice. Really nice. The pool actually adds a lot to it and the enjoyment space and the three car garage is really good especially oh i like the aerial shots that's really nice now you can actually see the space that you have especially next oh those three-story townhomes are next to your backyard where they can look at you in your pool 
Huh. Well, I guess if you don't worry about that, that's nothing. The house next door got creative. Do you see that? That was a great example. So they were able to show, they put an awning over their pool. That, that would be a good idea to put over the pool. Then the three-story townhome cannot look in your pool area. That awning is a great idea. See, there it go again. See how that awning, and it keeps the pool clean. And people can't see inside your pool area. Nice. For, I mean, in the inner loop. And you actually get some land. Not bad. Okay, so now I'm going to look into the, did my computer freeze? Okay, now I'm going to look in like the Woodlands Heights area. And that's right by the Heights. That's nice. Okay, so this is 1.1 million Wendell Street, or is it Wendell Street? So you got 3,000 square feet, 3,500 square feet home. You have a 5,000 square foot lot. It's new construction, so you shouldn't have to worry about too much. Is it income producing? Is that like a garage apartment in the back? That's not bad, if it is. This is really cute. So we got the Woodlands Heights. Yes, it was able to show what it's around. Nice brick. Dude, that porch is nice. That's cute. Open concept. Everything is everything is light and bright. And I love the black and white theme, especially right now. Like that's really cute. The baseboards. Do you notice the baseboards? Remember I was telling you earlier about the baseboards? The thickness, really nice, nice. The floors, you know, I never really, I never really like light wood floors, but this actually, it plays off very well in the home. Plays off very well. Never my island countertops it would like that I have. I love the cooking area, the stove, that's nice. Nice. I have a pot filler. But I don't have a stove that big. Let's see here. I actually like how the stove is over there to the side. Did you see the mantle on the fireplace? That's actually really nice. It looks like some distressed wood. Really nice. Okay. The office area is cute, especially right now with people working from home. I think it's really good to be able to utilize the office space in your listing. The master bedroom looks spacious. That looks really good. And did you see the freestanding tub? That's nice. I don't like those restroom cabinets. They look older. But I guess it kind of bring the concept from downstairs to upstairs. And it don't play off bad. The hand, the pull handles look really nice. I love those oversized pull handles. The pull, pull it sounds like I'm saying pull. The pull handles from the cabinets. I would have loved to seen backsplash behind this tub. That would have pulled it off really well. It would have made the flow feel even more grand. The closet build outs are nice. Guest bathroom, washroom. The washroom is a good size. Ooh, a mud room coming in from the back door. It looked like, oh my gosh, that is so cute how they use the shiplap in that area. All shiplap. That's really nice. Oh, and it looks like it goes down. I like those little steps. That's really cute. Backyard sitting area. Nice. Backyard is really small. But for the look, oh. That was creative to put the pool renderings there. Really nice. Um, really nice. But I, I just, I like how they put in the finishes, showing what finishes they use. I think that's really nice. Really nice. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have in the Woodland Heights that I could kind of show you? 
So the Willing Heights have a really nice park too. It's 1.9. That's going to be over budget. You could get some really nice stuff in the Woodland Heights area. Um, that, but that one right there that I just showed was 1.1. 1 .1, so I really, this one right here is on Boot Camp. I actually think I drove by this one a few times. I like the price reduction. Um, 3,000 square feet home, and you got 5,000 square foot lot. I think this is cute and charming. It got a little stairs going up from the street area. A nice entry door. I love those mail slots. They give a lot of character. Nice. I like how to use the rendering right there to show you how to stage. But where's the real living room at? The real picture. Oh, did it not have one? Nice. Okay. It feels dark in the house. I don't know why I feel that way. E. I don't like the backyard right there. Okay, that got a real picture of the living room. I almost kind of would have opened those shutters or lift. Like, I don't know. I guess it's just for privacy, but I almost would have opened those shutters because it feels dark. I don't know if it screens on there or what. Huh. I like the commercials though. That's a great feature. The bench and the shower is really nice and they have a rain head. It looked like it looked like they're presenting that. The bathtub is nice. Really nice. I would do a little upgrades to the home. I mean for nine hundred and ninety five, you're right under a mill. And this is what you'll get. And I think that's really good for the area. Uh, let's see what else we got. Okay, so I'm going to show you another area real quick, and this is basically just in the in the Houston area. Um, I'm going to do another video that I'll show you too. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to show you another area. It's a, it's a lot of places that you could literally afford in the inner loop that is around a million dollars 900 to a million dollars and under i mean you get a really nice home for three hundred thousand <laughs> um so if you have a million i mean you could basically invest as well and have a regular property i'll show you an investment too before the end of this video that'd be like my last thing that i would show you will be an investment property okay so let's see this is a university place this is on sunset boulevard uh, let's see here what we got we got a oh well that's out of the price range guys so I'm not gonna show you that one because I've been showing you some that was a little bit over the price but you know everything's negotiable so let's see what is this one for, uh, don't want one story right there at University Place 2.1 yeah Ooh, nice 1.1 not bad okay so you got a 1.1 and then it's a 1.9 so you got a two million dollar one right there four bedroom how many bathroom four bedroom four bath so let's look this is two million right here and you're looking at five thousand one hundred square feet and you got eight thousand square foot lot let's go back to the one that was for a hundred i meant for one million 1.1 and you don't have as many bathrooms, but you're pretty close to location. A good little concept. Okay. Just had a price reduction. It is 3,000 square feet home on a 5,000 square foot lot. Let's look at these pictures. The outside, if you do a, just a few upgrades, it would make it look really, really nice. Um, I would take away the columns and I would do post wood post stained and I would take away the shutters and do wood shutters almost I would paint the brick white I would do a black and white theme with wood stained um post and shutters I love the privacy gate to go to your garage that's actually really nice to have did you see the mailbox on the door that's really cute I would take this address and I would put it on one of the posts Redo the garden bed, and it will be a, a really nice home. Let's see here what we got. 
are those lights really on in the picture or were they um rendered on like were they edited afterwards and is that stairwell leading out of the door hmm. i almost turn it just so the flow could go I almost feel like downstairs look a little dark. I would take away those indoor outdoor. I mean, those I would take away those indoor shutters. Good space though. It's a really good space downstairs. Yeah, really good space. I just need a little bit of upgrades, and you could have a really nice home. The kitchen got a lot of cabinets. Oh my gosh, I I really like gas stoves though. So. Really like gas stoves, and that definitely should be a trash can if you pull out that drawer. I'm pretty sure I have a pull out drawer trash can right now. Upstairs, okay. Yeah, I almost would take off those shutters off the windows just to get more brighter lighting in the home. Ugh, I don't like the gold trim shower, but you know, you can actually um, repaint those and also get a company to come in and redo that. It'd be nice. They also have seamless showers, which are really nice as well. Ooh, the pool. I mean, that is a plus. And the pool actually look really good. Not bad. Not bad for the location and the price range. Let's see. You got Rice Village. Ooh, 925 1.6 1.6 three bedroom three bath four bed okay three bedroom three bath and you got a three bedroom two bath let's go see this three bedroom three bath real quick just reduce 77 days on market rice court okay oh what was it on uh almost 2500 square feet on a 5000 lot why didn't they show a print picture of the house now i know why okay is that an old dishwasher you can actually redo the elevation on the house and have a a good house i would definitely take away the carpet oh the backyard is actually cute definitely to redo the elevation on the front almost add in some more windows the doors uh, it got a, it got a great idea on how to do the doors uh, it's definitely got something to work with on that one um and then for the price you get three bedroom three bath okay and then you got the museum district let's see what we've got here Ooh, four bed okay 1.8 for a four bedroom three bath and then 949,000 for a four bedroom four bath oh Shinnebert. yes let's go to this one i wish they always showed a front of the house first is this a new built? Okay, so I wonder if the other home is available for viewing. Or is this actually the home or is this renderings? Okay, so they got kind of like an Ikea concept with the cabinets. I love how when the, um, when the kitchen got those little windows like that. Just to bring in some of that extra lighting. You could put like little planners there and all kinds. Of, they're on my kitchen cab countertops. <laughs> my countertops is everywhere. Love the um the sink. Love the restroom, the powder room. It almost gives you kind of like a club concept. Out going, ooh. The only thing I don't like is the apartments behind. I don't like apartments looking down into my backyard. It almost it feels like they're seeing me enjoy my life <laughs> so I just don't like that but the home could be actually really nice and then you know what you could actually put bamboo up for privacy where it's not showing in your backyard or you can put one of those remember that other house that I showed you with the awning you could actually do that awning let's see what it looked like too I love that outdoor indoor look everything looks so bright and natural the restroom is really nice. The closet is really nice. The washroom. Is it got carpet? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty creative for the bathroom. I don't know if I'll get used to that though. 
Okay. I guess we're not going to see how the outside of the property. Ooh, rooftop. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A rooftop. That, that's a cellar there. Just don't like the twirly stairs. Especially, <laughs> you'll make it down to the bottom quick if you have a few drinks. Rooftop is nice. That That's a great thing. And you almost want to put it like a little awning up there just for the summertime sun because our heat get crucial. The garage is nice. So this is the front of the property. Really cute. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So that is what under a million would get you right there. All right, let's, let me show you. Let's see here. Now I'm going to go to another little area that is really nice. It's like the third ward area uh, by University of Houston. Let's see what you get right here. South McGregor Way, okay. There was new HEB just built right here you're right by the bio six bedroom six bath 1.6 five let's see that this actually looks nice under a million four bedroom how many bathroom was it how many bathrooms four bathrooms four and a half Oh, I know where this house is at. I didn't drove by it before. It's nice. Nice. I almost feel like when you take a picture at night, you also should include a picture at the daytime as well. That would help. Okay, the swirling stairs actually look okay. Not a fan of swirling stairs, but it just depends. I guess it just depends on how to design it you know, on the inside. So I would have to actually be there to actually see them. Oh, the fireplace is nice. It's like, is that electric fireplace? I like the floor to ceiling windows. That is unique. It, that <laughs> it's a um I actually uh, been in a few properties that had the bathtubs and the sinks made out of those kind of rocks. That's nice. Floor to ceiling. What is going on in the kitchen? Okay. I almost feel like the cabinet should have some type of handle or a handle selection. Ooh, the exposed brick inside of that room. That would be my YouTube room, like literally. I like the exposed brick in there. Okay, and go right. Where was the bedroom at? Where was the primary bedroom? Didn't see it, but did you see the master tub area? Got the little black rocks. That's like something that I've been noticing a lot, especially on Pinterest. I'm like a fan of Pinterest. I almost feel like that tile, if you would have went up with it, that would have helped out a lot. That's the shower. Okay. I love the closet. The closet is nice. Okay. If this home had a video tour, I think it would be really nice. I don't have a video tour to it. Yeah, because I can't really get imagination of how it is. Hey, they got a cameraman in the picture. <laughs> Okay, nice, nice. The backyard area is really nice. Okay, nice. It would have been really nice to have a pool, but I mean, for the price, not bad. Okay, so the next thing I am going to look at, let's see here. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna give you go to Friendswood or would I go to so you got all these little areas that you go to and I'm gonna do more areas soon just type down below in the video what you would like to see on which areas and I can definitely show them to you you got Kima you got all a little bit further down you got Galveston um, Sienna plantations and I believe what is it Sugarland the Richmond area then you have Cinco Ranch area and you have, now Cinco Ranch area, let's go there and see what we could find. Cinco 
So if I'm in like the Cinco Ranch area, I would definitely want to have access to amenities, especially if I'm fur out and I know I'm not going to be going to the city as much. I'm definitely going to want to have some amenities close by and some entertainment and be able to enjoy things. Well, this looks like it got some water in the area. This is 1.195, cute home. Yep, it have a pool. That's a great amenity to have when you're further out. You don't have to go anywhere. Just enjoy your home, have the entertainment come to you. Don't have to fight traffic and don't have to pay an expensive Uber drive. Outdoor entertainment. That's like an indoor outdoor kitchen because it flowed right from the kitchen area. It looked like, was that? It? Yeah. Primary bedroom, the master is really nice. I love the freestanding tub, really nice. It was like a movie theater room, and then got the pool. Okay, really nice, new home. Oh, let's see here too, let's see what I can do. Firethorn community, got this one right here. So this is 1.299, so we're looking at 1.3. Um, the lot size is uh, 106,000 square feet. A little bit over two acres. Not bad, with a 5,000 square foot home. Wow, this is nice. Ooh, like, the, the, like that, that's great. A lot of browns got a lot of opportunity for um, for upgrades too not bad spacious closets the bathroom feel dark and I know it's just because of upgrades nice nice outdoor entertainment area is nice we have the pool the pool is really nice the lighting is really nice that's good they were thinking about outdoor entertainment and it looked like almost that that garage opens up to the backyard so you could be able to have privacy nice nice good size home with a lot of land um wonder if it's unrestricted the way you could put like hmm, okay Nice, nice little spot. Okay. Another little area that I like is like the um, town lake community. Let's see here. Let's see if I can zoom in and show you that little area. It's close by Katie, uh, but it's Cypress area. And you have a lot of little man-made lakes and they have like where you can drive your boat to the um, the community uh, pavilions and a lot of entertainment that they have and their shopping centers and everything this is 1.2 and let's see what this home looked like nice little home you would have a boat dock oh look see there yep you could drive your little platoon boat or your little boat up to it to your backyard you could leave out look at that nice it's a corner lot wow okay the stairs are beautiful oh that's beautiful beautiful okay huh kitchen just a few upgrades i would do if i were to get this location and the shower area got a little privacy okay i haven't seen that in a long time Carpet stairs. I love the shots of the areas. I think that's great to have a second kitchen upstairs when you're having entertainment upstairs. Got a lot of room for opportunity. I love the outdoor sitting area. A lot of space. See, there go the little boats. The boats slip in the community. Nice. Very nice. 
Love the shots of the angles. Was it three car garage? Three car garage. Okay. So those are some of the areas that's in Houston and surrounding areas. Um, you've seen some that I would pick. And I showed you some too that's just examples of a million dollars. And let's see here. I'm going to show you an investment property now. So right now I'm actually looking on here to see kind of like some investment opportunities. Um, Cause you can find a lot of good ones on here and you don't really need that much, that much money to do investments. Um, one thing I will be looking for is searching multifamilies. And if I'm looking multifamilies, I'll be trying to find something that's like a duplex and you rent one side out and you live in one side and that's way under a million. You'll be looking like, I mean, you get into something as easy as like 300000 But if you want to be like in a good little spot where you don't really got to worry, you want to get a good return in your rent, um, I would kind of be more in a little area that's up and coming. Or the next thing that I would do, I would search lands. And if I'm looking at lands, I would look at the land value and then I would look at the builds and if you're able to put more than one build on that land and I would actually build and I would just keep building. I would not live in the first one. I would sell the first one and then I would build another one and either live in it or if I'm able to build another item, then I'll build another build and then live in the, you know, the final one. Or just move somewhere else <laughs> um, then you have opportunities too for a main house in a garage apartment in the back that you can rent out the garage apartment and pretty much be paying your mortgage all the way where you're living financially free or you can also wow that's a good little listing right there or you could also be basically paying off at least half of your mortgage by by having like a little tenant rent from you um also you could do airbnb from your property if you have enough room and still be with your privacy so here's one i found under five minutes and i blacked out the area because i'm in the back end where it says notes to mostly the brokerages um this is a a and b unit and the price is very great uh, i haven't done all due diligence such as the rent rolls and what the property uh, basically uh, makes per rental unit. But I know the area and I'm very familiar with it. It's an up and coming area and there have been great appreciation in this area as well. So this is something that I probably would look further into and I feel like it's a, a potential opportunity. And that's the inside, so very minor work. So, those are the properties that I personally would invest in or buy with $1 million here in Houston and the surrounding areas. If you have any questions or would like any answers um, answered, feel free to email me, Cheryl at houseguiderealty.com and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Those messages usually come through on my cell phone right away. So I am able to answer them whenever I have free time in between meetings or breaks or showing properties or even just uh, having meetings, like I say, or messing with a property myself. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in, guys. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to leave them down below. Uh, I have a whole bunch of ideas for videos and I look forward to basically doing more content. Bye. Thank you.